Hi everyone, this is John from MotionWorks.net, back with a small Cinema 4D modeling tip for you. I've been working on this Hulkbuster helmet. The plan is to model all of Hulkbuster, but we'll see how far I get. For now, this is how far I've gotten with the helmet. And I just hit on a nice little technique for creating the vents, and I thought I'd just record this and share it with you as well. Now you can see the vent sticks out at the front, but if I just grab this back image here, they actually taper down and are quite flat at the back. And this can be quite a tricky thing to model. But the way I tend to approach this kind of thing is to imagine what the topology would look like without the vent. You can see here I've modeled it without the vent and then extrude the vent in afterwards. I personally find this is a better way to go, a little bit easier, and that way I get a more even result. But of course, if I extrude this, just grab the extrude tool and extrude that out, then I get an even extrude all the way around, which is not so helpful. So let's take a look at a way that we can make some adjustments to have it taper down to be pretty much flush with the back here. So first of all, I'm just going to select this line of polygons as well. Okay, grab my extrude tool, just extrude out for something like that. Okay, so now what I need to do is to split that off. So I'll press UP on the keyboard and delete. And there's that strip of polygons. So what I need to do now is select the other polygons, UL, just delete that. I'm using HB modeling tools. Clicking on the delete function here will delete the points as well as the edges to save some time. Grab this strip again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use soft selection. I want the front polygons to remain where they are. So that means I need to select some polygons at the back. So just drag to select those ones. And I'm going to turn on soft selection using HB modeling tools. Just need to have my move tool selected. There we go. I need to increase the radius. And I can do that using the HB modeling tools brush. Just get that so I've got a nice even gradient all the way around. It's almost white at the front. And now I need to select normal move. I put my modeling tools into my pie menu here. Now watch what happens if I push this back towards the rest of the helmet. You can see the back is going in, but the front is staying where it is and it's getting this nice even curve. Now I actually have to join these back together, so I'm going to select both of them. Right click and choose Connect Objects and Delete. Just select these again. Okay, Stitch and Sew. Uh, down here. Hold down the Shift key and stitch that in. See, that looks pretty good. and. I've still got really nice even topology here. If I was to extrude that and try and you know select each edge and drag it back and try and get that nice even curve, then I'd be in a world of hurt. It's really good to use soft selections for this kind of thing. For now, this is John from Motionworks. Have fun, be creative, and keep practicing modeling.